I want to talk about the biggest piece of advice that I would give to any international student who's about to come to London or the UK or might be in the process of doing a degree and might want to stay in the UK going forward and find a job here. To give you a quick background overview, I am from Russia and I came to the UK, to London specifically, when I was 17. I did A-levels here, then I did my undergraduate degree in LSE, and then I did my master's at UCL, and since then I've stayed here because I love the city, I want to work here going forward, and I've already had two years of work experience. So the advice that I want to give, and something that I wish I'd known before I came here, is start your research early and understand what you might want to do. Now that I'm two years after my graduation, looking back now, I know that during the academic year, you get so overwhelmed with work, with tasks, with just trying to have enough sleep and a social life at the same time as studying and doing well in your degree. Time really flies and it's very difficult to push yourself to also do all of the applications and apply for internships or for jobs straight away when you have all of that to juggle on the side. And what I now understand would have made it way easier is if I had known what I want to do earlier. That is quite tricky because myself personally, I did not know. I still don't know now. I'm trying to figure it out. I feel like I didn't get curious about the different career options until the point came where I was graduating and I had to find a job. And I think I was quite lost. To be quite honest and I saw that compared to a couple of people in my course I was a bit behind in terms of research and understanding the different career options so for example if I were to consider applying for a finance role and I thought that this was the career path that I would take after my university what I should have done is in first year I would have researched all the internship options I would have applied for that then I would know how it works and what I need to do in that internship to then get a job offer to stay in that firm after I graduate and I have seen several people do that and I was always amazed by how forward thinking they were and I don't think I was there but that is the way you need to think if you want to make that journey much smoother for yourself it's advanced planning and the truth about the whole like job searching and applying for internship is that a lot of the time at university and I definitely felt that at LSE there is this proven path that you know you're supposed to be going for and at LSE that would be finance economics, all the big corporate stuff. And it's very easy to feel that pressure on you. But the thing is, there's no point in just feeling the pressure if you're not doing anything to actually figure out what you want to do and start on that journey. So what happened in my case is I was seeing most people be as lost as I was. And then a few people were really going for it from very early days. They knew that applications open in autumn, they need to start applying. The earlier you apply, the better are your chances. And then going forward, they already had a good idea of what steps are going to be ahead of them to get the career path that they want. Whatever field you want to go into, you really need to research the way that career path would flow for you. The key piece in all of this that I found is you need to get curious about that career choice that you were considering because that's what's going to tell you whether you actually want it or not because having looked into several things that my fellow classmates were doing, I've only looked into it now. Now I understand that would have been the wrong choice for me. But at that point, when you're just trying to figure out your university degree, what you're doing with your life, it can be quite tricky to really have that deeper understanding of different career options. And that really links to that question they ask you in interviews, if you are lucky enough to get one, is why did you choose this job? Why are you applying for this role? I've always found that very tricky whenever I thought of the career options that I was considering. And that is because I've not done enough research and the 
earlier you start doing it, the better, because that will just give you such a good understanding of how the job world works to then be able to smoothly go into that, as opposed to panicking at the end of your degree, not knowing what you're doing, not knowing where you're standing, but more importantly, not knowing what you would like to be doing next. So on the more practical side, what does that mean, the forward thinking and the advanced planning? One is know your deadlines because some of them come very early. So if a deadline for an application is in autumn, you obviously need to start preparing everything like your CV, your cover letter, whatever else that process involves, ideally in summer. And apart from that, start building your LinkedIn profile, start really critically looking at your CV and thinking of what would click with an interviewer, what would not click, things you might add, things you might change, where you can add some stats as you go along, as you do more group projects, assignments, extracurriculars. And then start applying early because the best thing that's gonna help you in the process of getting an internship, getting a job is building relationships, that's one, connecting with people on LinkedIn, connecting with people in real life, and also really just trying it and going through some interview processes, going through some applications. Failing miserably and then trying again. Because the earlier you have your fails, the earlier you'll have your success. And again, a lot of these things I'm saying because I saw them in other people. So this is not to say that I've done all of those, by no means, no. But I can totally see how those classmates that did those things are now in the position they wanted to be in. Whether it's right for them or not, they can decide that now. That can be the next step. But they really planned for it. They really, really planned for it in advance and followed through. That's all for today. Let me know if that was of any help, if you agree, if you were perhaps a few years after your university degree already, if you think this is something that you should have done as well. That's what I think I should have done, but I didn't. But now I can reflect back and make a video out of it. Um, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one.